multiple players, multiple colonies, and an open world, RimWorld. Because today we're taking a look at a revolutionary new mod that adds multi-colony online play to RimWorld, allowing multiple players to coexist on the same map and play on a server. I am the Grim Cleeper, and before we get into the video, consider subscribing to the channel. You'll get notified when I post stuff and help me cram videos into people's faces. Anyways, let's get into the video. Starting with making a colony. In terms of joining a server, there is a few publicly hosted ones. I decided to go with Pringus, an already pretty large server with some very cool admins. And, uh, interesting rules. For modded servers, there are server set requirements of what mods to use, but at least in this server, both the ideology and royalty DLCs are optional. So if we go to generate a new colony, we actually have a new tab down here called multiplayer. And by clicking it, it opens this menu right here. Server IP and server port you just use to actually join the server itself. And you can find these details on the server's discord. For username and password, you basically just make one up so that you can log back into the colony that you make. I blurred out my password for obvious reasons, but as soon as you click join, which loads us into the entire world map, each and every one of these red things right here is actually a player colony. Now, obviously not every single one of these players is online right now, but they're still on the map. Now, I'm actually going to be starting way in the middle of nowhere uh, with my friend over here, testing settlement. Wow, it's a real creative name, Froggy. And everything after this is pretty normal. I can just choose no ideology system because I don't really need it right now. And then we get to random all of our colonists. And when we start into the game, everything is pretty normal seeming. But by going into the world map, as you can see, our colony is placed somewhere in this gigantic world of player colonies. Also, we start with a warg, which is kind of ridiculous. You will bond with Desi. Animals too. How did you not get eaten? So right now, all you guys can see me doing stuff in my colony, hauling stuff, and going ahead and maybe building some things. But right next to me in my friend's colony, they're also doing stuff. So this is their screen right now, and you can see they're playing the game just as normal. Now, I did play a bit of this mod on my own, and the strangest part is that there's basically no lag. I do know at least a little bit about this mod, but that's mostly because the admins of the server were so kind as to tell me about it. Also, the author of the mod answered some of my questions, so I'm thankful for that as well. So what you guys might be wondering is, what exactly can we do, though? Sure, there's other colonies and stuff on the map, but what do we actually do with them? And oh, oh my god, I just noticed the people up there. What are you doing? The main way that we interact with people right now is through caravans. And some of the things you could do with them can get a little silly. But I'll get into those in a second. First, I'm just going to make sure my colony isn't total garbage. I don't know why my friend decided to start in a tundra biome. Do they hate themselves that much? Then again, uh, these six people do exist, so I guess there's worse. I... Wait, I just started the game. This is this is not the right time to have not started with a doctor. Oh, Jesus, man. I think I think this person's gonna die. All right, rescue, please. Please start ten. Oh my God. Well, this just shows me that I shouldn't start with people that are 1,614 years old. Oh Christ. Okay, so that's not exactly a good start, especially given that that was the only person in our colony that was moderately competent at construction work. Funeral expected. For what, dying of a heart attack? Clearly a skill issue. So something I do want to point out is that the open world mod is a work in progress. So for example, this trading post icon here doesn't actually work yet, although apparently it is in the process being implemented. So one of the things that you can do in this mod is trade with other people. So the way to actually do that is to first create a stockpile zone and then rename it. Specifically make it called trading. And it looks like we got a gift from uh, probably Froggy uh, and it's one package survival meal. Surely that'll fix our dead colonist. Oh, and we just got a trade request. So if I click accept here, it automatically takes three of our silver from our stockpile and gives us the item. So given that we just got a bunch of stuff from Froggy, we can actually go ahead and form our own caravan and head over to their settlement. And our caravan's about to get over to the settlement and there we go so below you can see that we have all these options here now most of these options aren't actually implemented yet so if i try to attack not implemented visit and inspect are all not implemented yet which this mod is very early in progress and development so it makes a lot of sense but the three options that do work are trade gift and black market so if i go ahead and click gift i can select whatever items i want let's say this for medicine a package survival meal and then click accept and when i do that now you can see that the items are gone from me and instead now they're in there their settlement. Now, it's fine and all that we can give things to each other, but what about actually attacking? Well, currently, as I said, attacking isn't yet implemented, but you can still mess with other people's colonies. And you do that through the black market. Now, if you look at all these options, some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are very bad, uh, but they do actually cost 2,500 silver to use. Now, currently, we are very poor, which is obviously bad, so we can't really afford any of these options. Now, in the options, you can actually change your difficulty and your storyteller, but you can't 
can't use dev mode and you also can't do anything but commitment mode. But through a little finagling of my own, that's not really a problem anymore. All right, and we just arrived at Froggy's settlement with a lot of goods. Now, when I go ahead and give stuff, I have a lot of things to give. And uh, looking at everything we're about to give them, we do a little trolling. And without further ado, I can just gift the items, thereby filling Froggy's entire base with granite chunks. And it gets even better too, because if you're using Minify everything, you can pack up thousands of dug graves into your caravan and gift them to unsuspecting colonies, immediately filling half the map with gravestones. Something else is that if we head into the black market over here, we've got a lot of ways to mess people up. Now, first, of course, because I'm a nice person, I'm going to go ahead and gift, eh, you know, just, just a couple thousand silver. Nothing, nothing that's a huge deal. Because what good is a mech cluster if there's no colony wealth? Okay, well, I, I was going to do a little bit more, but already it looks like my friend is dead. Again, I'd like to reiterate that this mod is very early in development, so a lot of this exploity stuff is likely to get fixed. On the topic of the mod, though, I'm actually streaming it on Twitch right now, playing multiplayer on the Pringus server, so join me there if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. See ya.